Good morning, good evening, or whenever you're watching this, and welcome back to Persona 5. So in the last episode, well, things took quite a turn. Kamoshida's abuse situation is very complicated, as it turns out. And now a girl is in the hospital after attempting suicide. But on the bright side, on now has a persona, and now we have a full party. So in this episode, we're gonna first go to bed. Well then, tomorrow's gonna be a busy day. Keep it together, all right? <laughs> I feel a strange weight pressing down on my body. Is this the stress of Kamashita's threat weighing on me? Even if it's crowded, looks like you can still grab a seat if you're lucky enough. Hmm. hmm. While we're riding the train, we've got some downtime. I wonder if we could put it to good use. What's wrong? You don't look so good. I haven't been feeling well lately. My head's all foggy, and I have no energy. I've tried every drug at the pharmacy, but nothing works. Do I have some new virus? That's cool. Is this the onset of a psychotic breakdown? What else should I do? Am I going to die? Calm down, calm down. Let's go to the clinic. Come on. I'm sure the doctor can prescribe something that'll fix you right up. I see. Doctors have the best medicine, huh? Hey. Wasn't that one customer back at LeBlanc a doctor? What, do you have a cold? No! I just thought it would be nice to have some strong medicine to use in the palace. Hey, we're meeting at the hideout after school, right? Don't text now, we're in class. Whoa, you mean you're actually listening to all this crap? Yeah, but none of it's really sticking today. I know, right? Anyways, hideout after school? Where exactly is this hideout? The school roof. Wait, we can still go up there? Yeah, I'll let you in. Well, I'll be waiting. Just come on up once school's over. Gotcha. I'm gonna find you if you're late. Hey, I'm Amiya! You, pay attention! Is that how you listen when someone's talking to you? I feel a murderous intent. Ouch. Ooh, that looked like it hurt. <laughs> He hit him right in the forehead. That's what you get for daydreaming. Kids these days have no respect for their elders. Good grief. Looks like you need more proficiency to completely dodge that. Yo, I've been waiting. Okay. Let's get going. Hold on. It's still too early for us to head to the palace. But why? Don't we just gotta steal that treasure thing? Now then. Don't underestimate the dangers of that place. We need to prepare. Ain't that persona shit we got enough to deal with it? That's exactly what I mean when I say don't underestimate it. You'll die if you mess up in there. So again, we need to prepare before we head in. But, how exactly are we supposed to do that? I'm glad you asked, Lady On. First, we'll need to find better equipment for all of you. Hey. You talking about weapons? I know a kick-ass place. Okay. In that case, you can handle that side of things. The only other thing would be stocking up on medicine. 
Fatigue is unavoidable in a palace. And where do, can we get medicine? Don't worry, I know just the place. I hope you look forward to it, Lady On. Now then, Ren and I have some business in Yongen, so let's head off for today. Um, what business? Let's go. I won't be able to get close enough by myself. I've got a good idea. Remember that customer you met at LeBlanc yesterday? The doctor who prescribes medication after a quick examination? She was sitting at the booth. Yeah, I remember. I just realized something. If she's the kind of doctor who gets sketchy rumors like that, maybe she'll help us out. She's somewhere in the neighborhood, right? Take me to her. Hmm. Oh, the dog's not there today. Hmm. Huh, what's that over there? Here it is. Okay. This is the clinic that the chief mentioned. Now, how can we get them to give us some medicine? I guess we'll have to make something up. Well, I guess that's the only choice we have. We'll just have to go for it. All right. Let's step inside. Languid doctor. Oh. Is this your first visit? Hmm. I feel like I've seen you somewhere before. I just moved here. Hmm. Well, whatever. So, what are you here for today? Ugh. <sighs> I feel a little tired most of the time. Hmm. Fine. Please head to the exam room. Really? In a case like yours, it's usually due to stress. I'm going to prescribe you some pain relievers, okay? Hmm. Actually, I still need to restock those. So, let's go with sleeping pills instead. Sleep is the best medicine anyway. Which type of pill do you want? A sweet tasting one or a bitter one? Uh... Huh. Uh, either is fine, I guess. How about a stinky one, then? Just kidding. There's no such pill. Alright. Why don't we stop beating around the bush? Hmm? What does this mean? You're not sick at all, are you? I'm not as dumb as I look, you know. I'm guessing you're here because uh, you heard the rumors about me, huh? Are the rumors true? Who's to say? But as a result, all I get are patients with ulterior motives now. Really? I guess high school kids have it tough nowadays, too, huh? Well, fine. I'll prescribe you some medication. But only medication that will help you recover your health. I guess it's fine. You seem pretty earnest, and you don't look like you'll be any trouble. This is my private practice. All the medicine I dispense is original. I have a license to make my own formulas. You'll likely see them being sold at various hospitals. It's your responsibility to take care of yourself. So if that's okay with you, stop by any time. Thanks. Yep. Great. It's nice that you're so quick on the uptake. Saves me the hassle. You're a pretty weird kid, you know? I wonder what you're going to use the medicine for. <laughs> that's fine. As long as you don't cause me any trouble, it's not my problem. This is all I've got right now. Okay. Which one? We won't buy anything at the moment. We'll save up our money. Take care.
What's the reason for your visit? Do you have a cold? Stomach ache? Athlete's foot? Whatever it is, you'll need to take a number. Enough of this! You're the only one who could have developed that type of medicine. <sighs> I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Rumor has it it's a drug so potent it can give a person unlimited power. Really? That's news to me. Developing experimental drugs, medicine, and herbal remedies violates all health regulations. Are you attempting to create a super stimulant? A drug like that will only become a social issue. You're really persistent, you know that? I'm just a quack. The police may not have taken action, but I imagine the media will soon pick up on it. You intend to ruin my reputation again, huh? You're a disgrace to the medical community. <laughs> What's with that look? That was your mistake, was it not? I won't be responsible for your criminal actions. Dispose of that medicine immediately and resign. The name Taitakami will never... Hey, is someone there? Good oh boy. Man... They almost caught us. It sounded like they were talking about something dangerous. Could that woman be hiding some extra strong medicine? Hmm. Seems sketchy. No. Maybe. But it could come in handy at the palace. Let's get that woman to cooperate with us. Alright. Let's come back when the man isn't here. We shouldn't involve people who have nothing to do with this. Keep the fan of these a secret, okay? Okay. Anyway, great work. That went really well. You know, there's a shop in Shibuya that sells model guns. I'd be glad to take you there if you want. Sounds good. Sweet! Well, let's figure out where to meet. You at least know how to get to Shibuya Station, right? Hey, I can't make it. Can I trust you guys to check the place out for me? You can't come? Not tomorrow. I made plans to go see Shiho in the hospital. Ah, gotcha. Don't worry, we got this. Well, see you in Shibuya, Ren. I'll be in front of the station. I see. We might be able to get our hands on some deeps and stuff if this store really has model guns. Well, we can leave that for tomorrow. Let's go home. Okay. It's going smoothly so far. Once we're prepared, let's take on the palace. That's where the real fun starts. Got it? So we've met the doctor. The back alley doctor. Who has some very potent medicine. As it appears. So tomorrow, we're meeting up with Ryuji to go to a shop that sells model guns. Okay. We're meeting up with Ryuji tomorrow. So don't oversleep. Right. What's up? Looks like you made it. Let's go. Okay. Let's get going. The shop's over this way. Consider what I have to say. Everyone, wake up. This country is twisted. This politician's actually saying some decent things, but not many people are stopping to listen. Hey. People give speeches all the time. Plus, politics are pretty boring anyways. We're almost there. Just don't get lost in the crowd. Jump can be pretty confusing to find sometimes. This is it. Pretty legit, huh? Oh yeah, now that we're here, you know anything about military stuff? 
And I guess worst comes to worst, we can just ask the shopkeeper what they recommend. Come on, let's go. Surly manager. <laughs> you know what you want yet? Looking for recommendations? I don't know. Just buy whatever looks interesting to you. Ugh. Some customer service. Hmm. Fine. What do you want? An automatic? A revolver? Hmm? Automatic? Dude, why are you talking about cars now? <sighs> Listen. This here is an enthusiast shop. My regulars will be mad if I let a casual like you hang around. What? I'm not a freaking casual. I bought shit from here like last week. <laughs> Can't remember you. You bastard. And you? Looking for something? Fancy model gun. <laughs> You're a collector? You're way more interested than that blondie over there. Damn it. Shut up! <sighs> Anyways, you should have said before you two were enthusiasts. I'm always up for helping fresh faces. Some precautions first, though. Don't go around pointing them at other people. Keep them in a bag or something if you're outside. Oh, and don't let the fuzz catch wind of you having them. I don't need them coming around here. Don't worry, we'll be careful. You damn well better be. Look. If you look close, you'll be able to tell these are models. Real guns feel... different. Maybe someday I'll show you the real good stuff, though. If you got the guts for it, of course. For now, you get the beginner selection. Just sit tight, I'll bring them out. We did it, dude! We totally gotta go for some fancy shit, right? I want them to shine. Yeah. Oh, and here's the cash for mine. Pick me out something good. Thanks for the 5,000 yen. Hmm. I think I will buy Ryuji something. Alright. Alright, which one? That's what you're choosing? This one. You better not use it to pull a prank. That'll do for now, I guess. Uh, come again. Hmm? You going home already? Anyways, I'll have you do the choosing from now on. Give me the strongest looking one. You hear? Apparently, that subway driver from the accident was acting really odd during his testimony hearing. You talking about that psychotic whatever thing people are going on about? Yeah, I heard it completely alters your personality. The news is saying the driver couldn't even speak when they tried asking him questions. <sighs> There's no way a preposterous story like that could be true. Oh, I'm sorry, but we're closing soon. <laughs> How rude. This must be why you don't get many customers. Your coffee is actually not half bad. The beans must be lamenting the sorry state of this store. Thanks for stopping in. Please come again. <laughs> I only say this out of politeness, but thanks for the coffee. Jeez. What a pain. Oh, what do you want? If you're bored, go wash some dishes or something. Do you treat all of your patrons like that? Same as always. It's all good as long as the shop doesn't fail. I'm not gonna go wearing a fake smile. And what if it does fail? Mm. 
Who knows? Maybe I'll end up living out on the streets. As long as I'm here, the world leaves me be. No annoyances or troublesome people to deal with. It's like my own personal hideaway. I'd be kind of screwed if I lost it, but I guess you would be too. So you better at least try and be useful around here. <sighs> Anyways, I'm leaving now. Don't cause any trouble. So, I went to see Shiho in the hospital. How was she? Her condition is stable. They don't know when she'll regain consciousness, though. I'm sure she'll be okay. Yeah. She'll get better, I know it. I just need to believe in her. But, I'll never forgive Kamoshida. He's going to pay for what he did, no matter what. Okay. We're just about ready to go to the palace. We just need to assemble some infiltration tools. Clean out that desk back there so we can use it. Alright. Right. Okay. Great. Now we can make things whenever we want. Now you can create infiltration tools at this work desk. Well then. I'll provide the materials this time. Try making a lockpick. Making infiltration tools. With the necessary materials, you can make infiltration tools. These can be beneficial when exploring palaces, so be sure to try them out. Materials can be collected from defeated shadows in palaces and from shops in town. Try visiting different shops to see what items are in stock. Making to tools will cause time to pass, but will improve your proficiency. As your proficiency grows, the amount of infiltration tools you can make at a time will increase. Try raising your proficiency to become more efficient. Don't think too hard about it. You'll get the hang of it. Alright. Now then. Everyone starts off a little clumsy. Don't be sad if it doesn't go well at first, okay? What are your thoughts? Did you finish? One lockpick. Hey! Great! We should be able to use this. Yeah. Got some points to our proficiency. All right. Okay. We should be ready now. We're heading into the palace tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. Good morning. Come on, hurry up and get to class. Good morning. Morning to you, too. That admirable behavior won't get you do any good once you're expelled. So I saw Kamashita at the school gate this morning. He was just standing there looking at me with his shit-eating grin on his face. Ugh, that's so annoying. He was probably mocking you. Honestly, seeing that got me even more fired up about this. Yeah, I'm worried about Shiho, but I want to concentrate on our operation too. And I won't let myself get exhausted like last time. The board meeting's May 2nd, right? We just gotta take care of him before then. I'm ready for this. Same goes for me. Me too. I'll do my best. No going in without me, okay? Yeah, you better let us know if you're going into the palace. Okay, it's finally time to set the plan in motion. I bet the others are ready to go and waiting on the signal. Well, I'll leave the planning to you. 
Now you can spend your time freely after school. Try to steal your target's heart by the deadline. Mission start. Palace infiltration deadline. If you cannot execute the plan by the deadline, then it's game over. Keep vigilant and keep be aware of the time remaining. Palaces contain many strong enemies. Consult with your allies and make use of the various facilities in the city to ensure a successful infiltration. Okay, let's go. Let's take Kamashira's twisted heart. Activity log. By connecting online, you can check what actions other players choose to take at the same time on the same day. Press the touchpad button to see the activity log of other players. This feature will not affect the gameplay or story. To turn this feature off, open the main menu by pressing the triangle button, then selecting system, and then entering config. I have network settings off really? for this game, because, uh... Well, it, it kind of extends loading times. Also, despite the fact that everybody's rare enough to go in the palace, we're actually not going in today. We gotta do some more preparation now that we have time to spend at our leisure. So, before we get to today's activity, I want to do some housekeeping. Oh, look, there's Ryuji. Also, check in with the newspaper club member over here. What? I don't look. I don't like the way you walk up to me so casually. Like we know each other. That's not a big deal. Maybe it's not a big deal to you, but it is to me. You probably don't understand how this school works, but angering Mr. Kamashita was a bad idea. Hmm. Might have been. Okay, so... Yeah, Ryuji's asking about the palace. There we go. And... Courtyard. Need to pick something up from the vending machines. Are you thinking of buying something to drink? machines have some nice little things, but we're focusing on these two. Because there are plenty of items in this game that restore it HP. But not a lot that restore SP. So we need to focus on those. Wrong button again. Our next stop is the library. Oh, is this your first time at the library? It's my job to explain the rules of the library to first-time visitors, so... Using the library. You can borrow books from the library. Furthermore, if a desk is available, you can read or study here. Studying in the library will have a different effect than studying elsewhere. Choose where you want to study depending on the situation. You're only allowed to borrow one book at a time. Once you finish, please be sure to return. Huh? The badge. Are you a second year? Oh, could you be that transfer student I keep hearing about? Yes. I knew it. Um, I don't mean to be rude, but maybe you shouldn't come here. See, you're scaring the other students, too. Oh, no, I didn't mean that you can't use the library, but... You're not all welcomed anywhere you go. I guess there's nothing we can do about that. Anyway, we're here to check out a book. Do you need something? You can only borrow one book at a time. Be sure to return it once you've finished reading it. These are all the books you can check out right now. So yeah, all of these books pertain to the current members of the Phantom Thieves. For example, The Great Thief is for a Joker, since it's about Arsene. We're gonna check out this one. This one, yes? Okay, be careful with it. Pirate legend, eh? Sounds interesting. Hmm. Huh. Diligent looking student. 
Hi. What is it? Is something the matter? If you don't need anything, please don't bother me. I'm very busy right now. Okay. Okay, next stop. Confidant locations. When looking at the rail map, a card icon may appear by the name of a station. This hints that there may be one or more confidants in that area. You can view the names of confidants and information about the area by pressing the square button. Try checking if no one has sent you an invitation. There's a card over Yongenjaya. Before we get to that, let's head on over to Shibuya. Oh, it's that guy that was giving the speech. Hello. I'm scheduled to give a speech here tonight. If you're interested, I'd love for you to come. I want young people like yourself to hear it. Speech highlights a person's ability to attract others. What's your take on this guy? I sense experience emanating from him, so he may be good at it. If that's the case, we should go. But it's at night, so we won't be able to attend without the chief's approval. We can't go out at night yet. Let's go over to Central Street. next stop is over at this arcade over here. You can now quick travel to the Shibuya Jigolo Arcade. And we're here because this vending machine also has these SP restoratives. Go the walkway underground. There should be there. Part-time job magazines. Oh, a part-time job, huh? Well, you do need money. There are conditions for applying, though, right? You sure you got this? Part-time jobs. Part-time jobs will cause time to pass, but you will make some money. Some conditions may need to be fulfilled before you can apply. Once you've met these conditions, try applying to the job you want. So, what kind of jobs are there? Well, the only one that we can accept right now is the convenience store. Hmm. A part-time job at a convenience store, huh? Sounds typical for a student. You want to apply? Yeah. Okay, let's call them right now. Hi, this is Tok 777 on Central Street. You're calling about the job opening? Hold on, I'll get the manager. Thanks for waiting. So, you wanted to apply for a part-time job? You're a student, right? I'll plan your schedule around the days you're available. I'm always in the store, so you can come straight here. I look forward to working with you. Oh, seems like it worked out. Good job. <laughs> part-time work calendar. Check what days you work at your part-time job by opening the menu with the triangle button and selecting calendar. If only applying for jobs was this easy. <laughs> Alright. Next stop. Need to head over in front of Café Le Blanc. Because... This vending machine also has SP restoratives. And for cheaper than usual. Whoops, everything's sold out. Let's wait for it to be restocked next week. And we'll be back next week. I just realized that I forgot to get something in Shibuya, down the underground mall. Need to head over here. 
we got a flower shop. Giving someone flowers will always make their day. Care to buy some for a present? Come in. We need one of these. Alright, that should take care of our uh, housekeeping for today. So now we're gonna do our activity. We're gonna see what this confidant card is about. You can now quick travel to the clinic. So, our doctor is a confidant, or at least she will be. So, let's talk to her. Hey, Doc. I should ask her about the enhancing drug I heard her talking about the other day. Oh. What are you here for today? Well, I want that rumored medicine. Huh? You're that kid who was at LeBlanc. Regular medicine won't do the trick? I have my reasons. Hmm. <sighs> Fine. Just head into the examination room for now. Oh. That medicine, huh? <laughs> what are you trying to do? So, which conversation of mine did you eavesdrop on to hear that? It was obvious, actually. You call that hiding? Not that I care, of course. I was going to dispose of that medicine anyway. I got a little too carried away with it. But tell me, why would a high schooler like yourself be so interested in that medicine? Uh -huh. It's very strange indeed. You don't seem to be very athletic, so... What exactly are you up to? Um... Uh... Eh... Entrance exams? Huh? Exams? Oh, your entrance exams for college? So you're looking to improve your concentration and reduce fatigue? Hmm, well, that's not the best idea. But if that's what you want to do... Take care. Then good luck with that. I have no obligation to help you with that. Why don't you have an energy drink or something? I'm not gonna be a tattletale. I need that medicine. You're really annoying, you know that? The medicine is really expensive, and it's not something a high schooler can get his hands on. It costs almost as much as a car. Got it? So how about you just go home? I ain't leaving until I get it. <sighs> Do you consider yourself someone with a good amount of stamina? Huh? I admit I've been looking for a young person around your age to help me out. But I haven't been able to find one, even after putting an ad in the paper. Are you up for it? What will I be doing? Do you want to do it or not? <laughs> yes. Okay then. You'll be participating in clinical trials for my medicine. <laughs> Hang on, I'll be right back. <laughs> Here you go. Ugh. Worried about the side effects, huh? Well, you can relax. Rest assured, my autopsy is guaranteed to find out exactly what part of it killed you. <laughs> Did you change your mind? The exit's right there if you want to leave. <sighs> if I don't drink this, Takami probably won't sell me her medicine. <sighs> 
Well, go on. Bottoms up. I can't believe you actually drank it. Bitter, yet sour. It's beyond description. However, it's nothing I can't handle. Wow. Still doing okay, huh? Hmm. Not bad. For a high schooler. Uh. uh oh. <coughs> well, game over, I guess. Good evening. Do you remember anything from the moment you took the medicine until now? Huh? Hmm. By the look in your eyes, I'd say you don't. You briefly woke from your coma, but you were completely dazed during the entire examination. You eventually lost consciousness and fell back asleep. Huh. <sighs> Are you out of your mind? Only an idiot would have drank that. It's for my exams. Fine. By the way, the reason you lost consciousness was because of the taste. It produces a foul smell when it mixes with gastric juices, similar to Sirstremen. <sighs> oh well. All that matters is that thanks to you, I was able to get some good data. Okay, it's my turn to make good on my part of the deal. That's why I waited until you woke up. Huh? I don't want the general public to know about my original medicines. So you're strictly prohibited from disclosing what happens here to anyone. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Then it's a deal. As long as you come here for it, I'll give you the medicine at a good price whenever you want. I may even add additional selections in time. I look forward to your continued patronage. I've made a deal with Takami. Considering all the actions you've taken, you must have had someone with medical expertise. Who? And how did you treat your wounds? It'll be easy to find out who if we look into this, you know. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the death persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Death. Fitting. <laughs> Rejuvenation. Increases the selection of healing items at the clinic. All right. You've unlocked the Death Confidant. Fusing Personas of the Death Arcana will now grant you experience due to Arcana Burst. Takami will now sell you Rejuvenation Medicine. So, when can you come back for the next clinical trial? Huh? Oh. You don't remember that part either? Well, I was saying that teenage test subjects are quite valuable in the medical research industry. So I'll provide you the medicine for your entrance exams, and in exchange, you'll be my guinea pig. I have to perfect this medicine. If you're able to move now, you can go home. All right. Take care. Bye. I feel like cooperating in that shady clinical trial has increased my guts. Still have a long way to go with guts. All right. Hey. You better not be up to any trouble. You make just one mistake and your life's over. What, like getting expelled? <laughs> anyway. What's on TV? And now, politics. The Minister of Transport has made his first public appearance since the tragic train accident. 
He refused to respond to claims that he had ignored safety risks that have been may have led to the accident. He ignored it? Even though he knew about it? That sounds pretty serious. Hey! If you have nothing to do, let's clean up this room. An uncluttered room is an uncluttered mind. Yeah, let's clean up this room. Oh! Oh! That plant is still alive. We can decorate with it. Nice! Even a dreary room can be brightened up with a little green foliage. Let's take good care of this plant so it won't dry up and wither away. Okay. This is a good opportunity. The bookshelves over there are looking pretty messy. Let's get everything up while we're at it. That's incredible. Politics, law, and philosophy. These all sound like some pretty difficult books. Oh, maybe you'd be able to read this one. Yoncha Wanderer. I wonder why this one is mixed in with all of these difficult books. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter. Well then, this room feels a little more comfortable now. Now you can change up this room however you like. Alright, let's go to sleep for today. I thought I'd get a girlfriend once I was in high school, but I'm not having any luck at it. This sucks. Is there something wrong with me? Maybe. Maybe you need to do some self-improvement. Try reading some books. Broaden your horizons so you'll have more things to talk about. You'll be more desirable if you're more intelligent. It'll take hard work, though. Won't happen overnight. Yeah, but books make me sleepy. Guess I have to give... I guess I can give it a go, though. If it'll help me more- make me more popular with the ladies. Uh, is the library we go to borrow books? Nice! Reading books is an important way to expand your mind. Yeah, books are great. Oh! I totally agree! You can apparently read for free at the school library, so you should try and take advantage of that. I think there's also a bookstore over on Central Street. Let's get started. Hi there, everyone. I'm Mr. Hiruta, your biology teacher. You must all be shocked by what happened with Suzui-san. It was a shock to me, too. Although I can relate to how she felt. Her eyes were devoid of life as they looked upon this sad, hopeless world. Well, I suppose everyone views the world differently. Let's have a test. Try to answer this. You there. Take a look at this diagram. Is the line extending from A connected to B or C? Which is it? C. This is it. You do know. It seems your eyes see the truth. This is an optical illusion. Some people see it correctly, and some do not. It's, isn't it strange that they view the same Im image differently? Humans don't see the world as it is. We simply process visual information with our brain. No wow, really? Amamiya seems kind of smart, doesn't he? Nice going! Wow, you must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that. Long, long way to up our knowledge. All right. How you see the world is nothing more than a trick of the mind. It is all mere cognition. There is no proof that the world each of us sees is the same. How you see the world depends on your brain's cognition, huh? Optical illusions and the metaverse might be more similar than you think. Hmm? 
Hey, where are you right now? I haven't gone home yet. I'm still at school too. I'm by the staircase outside your classroom. Think we should head into the palace today? Uh, I haven't decided yet. Hey, I thought of something the other day when we were running around the palace. Maybe it's because I haven't been moving around as much lately, but I feel like I'm getting weak. We're probably gonna run into some pretty tough shadows sometime. We should try and get stronger too. It's sunny outside. Perfect for training. So you want to get your blood pumping? Wow! Seems like even Ryuji has a lot on his mind. It's true that training your body will let you be able to move when it counts. Confidant Invitations Confidants will send invitations to spend time with them via IM. Some messages will be important. You can accept the invitation by responding to the message, but there is no need to reply immediately. Text messages that have not been responded to will have a hole divide them. Wait too long to respond and the invitation will expire. Not every IM needs a reply. Accept the invitations from people you're interested in. Okay. He went to the trouble of inviting you, so why not listen to what he has to say? You know what? Yeah. Yeah, let's listen to what he has to say. I feel like my bond with Ryuji will grow stronger soon. Spending time with confidants. Spending time with your confidants after school or at night will deepen your trust in each other. Think carefully about who you will spend time in your limited time with as you progress through various palaces. So what do you plan on doing? Want to hang out with Ryuji? Oh, hell yeah. Let's do some quick warm-ups behind the gym, then. Oh, be sure to change into your gym clothes first. Hmm... Man, this place brings back memories. This is my secret and training spot. Er, was. Back when I was on the track team. Actually, I've been thinking about trying to run again. Fighting in that other world was a total shock. I couldn't move like I used to. It just felt... lame. So I started thinking, maybe I need to build up my muscles again. Anything's gotta be better than this flimsy body, right? Plus, maybe then I'll be able to help out a little more. I'm counting on you. <laughs> I'm totally gonna wreck your expectations. Uh, I mean that in a good way. Anyways, you act like it's only me who's gonna be doing this, but you're getting in on it too. Huh? Come on, man. Don't look so surprised. Why'd you think I had you go and change into that? It'd be pointless if I was the only one getting super fast, right? Alright, I'm gonna do some knee lift sprints. You're stuck with the normal ones. I ran around the school with Ryuji. Damn, my legs are all tight. Mm. Before Kamashita came along, the track team was the biggest thing this school had going for it. But it all changed after he got our coach fired and took over as the sub. Damn it. That bastard. Right from the very start, he was trying to get rid of us. He'd give us crazy workouts, then when we couldn't do them, he'd add even more on top of that. Day after day was nothing but that bullshit. He was going after me especially. He knew. He knew I was the kind of guy who'd fight back. <clears throat> if my trying dropped even a little, he'd cuss me out. Then on top of that, he brought up my parents. What about them? Hmm. Truth is, my mom's the only one I got. All my dad did when he was still around was drink. Sometimes he'd even beat me, or my mom. I don't know how that bastard Kamashita found out, but he told the whole goddamn team. <sighs> and as you can guess, I lost it and hit him. It was like he wanted me to do it, though. He called it an act of violence and shut the team down. Thanks to that, the other guys on the team treat me like some kind of traitor. And they ain't wrong. 
Because of me, they all lost their shot at the championship. <sighs> Any regrets? A little bit, yes. And a little bit, no. <laughs> Come on, don't ask me tough questions like that. I'm not very smart, you know. Oh, you admit it. <laughs> Anyways, it doesn't matter now. That's all in the past. I'm only thinking about the future now. That's what we're gonna do. Build the future. We gotta think positive thoughts, brother. <laughs> I feel like my bond with Ryuji is growing deeper. Chariot rank 2. Now Ryuji has baton pass. Which is what we were aiming for this whole episode. Alright. Your Chariot Confidant has increased to rank 2. You will now earn more experience from Arcana Burst when fusing Personas of the Chariot Arcana. Ryuji can now use Baton Pass. Alright! We're all warmed up, right? How about another run? By the way, you're actually pretty good at running. Not as good as me, though. <laughs> Holy crap! My legs are shaking. Don't collapse on your way home, man. See ya. Hey. Just cause you seem to be taking school seriously don't mean I'm not keeping an eye on you, got it? I know what'll what's what as soon as I see your grades. Wanna prove you're turning over a new leaf? Make studying I have it as second nature as breathing. The news any different tonight? Next, our continuing coverage of the suspicions leveled at how the government handled the accident. Criticism of the government is on the rise, and the minister may be forced to resign. This incident drastically affected his approval rating, as evidenced by a poll conducted by this show. Huh, so he lost popularity because of the accident. First things first. This room looks so desolate since there's nothing in here. I've got a good idea. Bring me that chair, the one in the corner. You can reach the beam on the ceiling if you stand on this chair, right? I should be able to. All right, let's train your body using that ceiling beam. I'll be leaving you in charge, but you'll need to train your body too. I'm gonna whip you into shape, so you better be prepared. We're not doing that tonight. We need to look into this house plant. <sighs> we thought it looked nice, but it looks a bit dead. Oh, come to think of it, you bought some plant nutrients, right? Why don't you try using them? And we will do just that. Oh, these are some reasonably priced nutrients. This ought to bring a bit of life back to this plant. Now we got some. Three points towards our kindness. All right. Oh, that should do it for a while. All right. That's done. Now we do our real nighttime activity. But first, we gotta get this guy to leave. Pompous male customer. Ah, I apologize if I have overstayed my welcome. I finished a critique for work, so I'm partaking in a moment's rest. The ambience of my favorite cafe at closing time. This perfect silence soothes my very soul. The TV's on, though. I gotta talk to him again. Well, I'll be going home, then. Alright. We have a book to read. We're gonna read it here. Hmm. This place. It's perfect for relaxing while reading a good book. Reading. Reading will cause time to pass, but finishing a book will grant a variety of benefits. As you read, a bookmark icon will be filled. A book is finished after all icons are filled. Some books can be difficult and require knowledge. And tonight we're going to read Pirate Legend. The Tale of the Fearless Captain Kidd. 
Reading this will build guts. Yeah. Hmm? You're gonna use the store for something? Make sure you close up. Well, don't leave a mess. I'm heading home. The lone pirate ship sailed forward, forging its own path through the crashing waves. Wow! The pirate captain kid, huh? Ryuji should read this book. Well, sure, Captain Kid is his persona. Hey, hey! Hmm? Oh, I didn't realize how long you've been reading. So how far did you get? About halfway. It seems like you still have some pages left. You should continue some other time. We were able to grab a seat for ourselves. And you have a book you haven't finished yet. Oh, this is nice. Why don't you read that book until we get there? We're gonna finish up Pirate Legend. Hmm? The pirates made a toast, drinking and reveling to the celebrate their victory. Wow! So you finished reading Pirate Legend. I love how Captain Kidd was the leader of a ragtag group of outlaws. You must have learned more about courage after reading Captain Kidd's exciting adventures. <laughs> All right. Oh, we're almost at the station. I'd say that was an efficient use of your time. Mm-hmm. I spent way too much on new clothes this month. Now I'm broke. Guess you're getting yourself a job. Those job magazines that they have at the train station are useful. Maybe I'll swing by the Shibuya Underground and pick one up after school. Then again, works for losers. I hope I find something easy. Man, we need some cash. Why are you bringing that up now? Well, we can get all sorts of weapons and meds and shit now. But we can't actually buy any of it without some dough. We need... we just need to earn some. Don't make it sound so easy. Why don't we get part-time jobs? I don't know. I don't feel like it. Oh, shit! I'm in class! Sorry, I gotta leave the chat for now. See ya! If we sell the stuff we find in the palace, we can make some quick scratch for the war funds, but... Like Lady An said, a part-time job might be the better bet. There are job magazines at Shibuya Station, aren't there? Maybe you should pick one up. We did, though. Rain, huh? Anyway, we finished Pirate Legend, so... Let's return it and get another book. like to return a book? You're returning Pirate Legend, yes? Thank you for returning it. Do you need something? Alright. We're gonna check out Zoro the Outlaw. Zoro the Outlaw, eh? Sound interesting. I know you'll love it, Morgana. Okay, so I know this is a little early. But uh, we're going to stop the episode here, because next time, we're finally going into the palace. So until then, thanks for watching. <laughs>